Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome back to Making the Koala Bear Security Blanket. Um, a little while ago, I was informed that um, at the end of my first video, it cut off when right after we made the first corner right here. And when I picked it up in the second video, I totally skipped this first row. Um, so I'm going to show you how to finish that. And I had started another project, and it you add the blanket the same way. So I'm going to use a bunny rabbit head. <laughs> okay. So the end of the first video, we had our first corner. So now we're going to skip a stitch. And then the next one, we're going to do three double crochets. Oh, and I want to thank Betty for informing me about that too. And now we're going to skip the next stitch. And then in the next one, we're going to do another corner. So that's three double crochets. Now we're going to chain two. And three more double crochets in that same stitch. Now we're going to skip a stitch. And then the next one, we're going to do three double crochets. And we're going to skip another stitch and make another corner. So we're going to do three double crochets. Chain two three more double crochets in that same stitch. We're going to skip a stitch and now we're going to do three double crochets in that same stitch. Oops. And now we're going to do our last corner. We're going to skip a stitch and do three double crochets. A chain two and three more double crochets. Now we're going to skip a stitch and in the next one we're going to do three double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three that we did in the beginning. And there's the end of row one. Now for row two what I do is I do a single crochet and two chains on top of that. I feel that helps not leave as many gaps, but you can go ahead and do um, just three chains if you'd like. What I do is I go in the space, make a single crochet, and do two chains. Okay, now this is going that acts as a double crochet, and when we come back at the end of the row, we'll do two more double crochets in that same stitch. So now we're going to do a corner, do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets in that same space. Now we've got two spaces here. We're going to do three double crochets oops, in each one of those. And the next space, three double crochets. And we're at our next corner. And that's what it should look like. 
So we'll start on her next corner. So that's three double crochets. Oops. Two chains and three more double crochets in that same space. Okay, and go ahead and uh, finish the row the same way. Do three double crochets, three double crochets, and then you have your corner and finish that out and I'll meet you at the end, end of the row. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. So I'm gonna do two double crochets where I did that single stitch and two chains. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the very top of that second chain. And that's the end of row two. Now, we're going to do that same single crochet, chain two, and we're going to do a corner. Three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And just continue this until you get as many rows as you want your um, security blanket to be. I usually do 15 rows, but you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Um, and when you go into the next video, if you want to fast forward the first three minutes, it will take you to where we begin the border of the security blanket. And I apologize for any inconvenience. And thank you again, Betty, for bringing it to my attention. And I hope you all are um, enjoying making the koala bear. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.